Hey, hey, what's up you guys? Been a little while, huh? Yeah, yesterday I finished spraying the peanuts and this morning I'm heading to take Dan some fuel and some depth at the combine. I'm going to have to stop and pick Danny up on the way so that I can carry him to the, I think the Freightliner truck because he's dropping off the International truck at one of the farms that I guess they'll be getting moved to later on today. Yeah, he's back up in here, you guys. <laughs> Come on and ride with me, Danny. <laughs> And we have arrived. Dan is working on a fan belt on the 78 over here. So he's wide open, busy mechanicking this morning. And we are letting a drink. Had to hook the power cords up to the truck over there. Oh, it looks like Dan has had some cab corn there. That's when the grain bin gets too full and it runs out on the cab. <laughs> and Danny is taking off over there. Dan actually said that the idler went out on the 78. So the idler went out and fell off and then the belt came off. So he's trying to get that fixed. So you guys, it's done drank so much fuel, it's drained my battery. <laughs> now it's time to put some def in. This is the def tank, pretty nice size one there. I got three of these def jugs, so we're gonna let it drink this too. Drink up, thirsty baby. Number two. Yeah, she's thirsty, you guys. Yep, number three. This should do it, though. So, as you can see, he got the idler put on and the belt on, and... I'm going to carry this over to where we took the international truck. And we have arrived. And we're back to this farm. We got to get some more stuff moved, you guys. And so Danny's going to leave the truck here on the side of the road. I'll have to come and load it up on the road here. There's a farm through the woods that we're going to have to harvest. And Danny has arrived with the grain cart. Of course, Dan has been picking already back there. He's got this field done. A little tiny field. Probably about three, four acres. Got to go through the woods to the back. I guess Danny could actually run the cart till he got to go but uh really no need for me to sit in the dust back here we'll see anyway so he went and got back in the tractor he was just in the truck talking with me i guess he is gonna hang around until he got to leave and uh he'll fill up the freight liner out there looks like dan is getting full looks like they're gonna do an unload on the go there Go get it, Danny. Go get it. <laughs> this field not even that long, though. But I guess every little bit of time you can save helps out. And Danny has the load there. He's rolling back through to get another load. Man, you guys, I couldn't smash the record button quick enough. But anyway, he finished back there and he's coming on out. So he's getting it unloaded onto the truck there. As I mentioned earlier, it's got to be done in the road because this driveway is just too small for him to pull the big truck in. 
Oh, we a little blurry there. I got it. Oh, got a car coming too. And another truck coming from this way. They have to take turns going by if they can get by. Know the truck gonna try and go by, big boy, <laughs> big boy Chevy. Oh, that's not bad. The car can get by that too if you want to. There he goes. <laughs> Looks like it's getting about empty. Dan already left to head to the next farm where we carried everything earlier. That about do it, Danny. I know you're going to try and get every little bit out. Alrighty. Auger down, and I guess he'll get moved to the next farm, and I'll bring him back to get that truck. I believe that's probably the plans. Heading on to the next farm. So we caught Frank before he turned into the next farm here. <laughs> Big boy Frank. Big boy Frank. <laughs> He's getting the bin sides raised up. Plop. <laughs> Not gonna ride up in that dust if I can help it. All right, so I'm dropping Danny off at the freight liner. He's gonna bring that to the shop, and there's gonna be a little change in plans. I'm gonna have to mow a little centipede grass. Dan actually had a little issue where one of the doors up under the belly of Frank wouldn't want to stay closed because of a latch coming off. But uh, hopefully he'll get that situated. That'll give me a little time to get this grass mowed too. Looks like they got a few pallets cut already. While we waiting on Danny to get here. Ugh, let's get out and look at a few slabs on here. These are the pallets up close in person. I don't know if the self cutter Cut these pallets or if the fellas dug these pallets but this is your turf grass up close in person <laughs> that look like that might have been the the self cutter there because it's like pretty consistent all the way I ain't saying the fellas ain't consistent <laughs> Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Danny has dropped me off at the New Holland here. Uh, where's the emergency brake? And we're gonna go over there and cut a little place for him. We ain't gonna do the whole field because I suspect Dan is gonna need me. Uh, right shortly. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Gotta keep it on the line out there. This strip right here 
looks like where they dug those pallets this morning because that dirt looks freshly disturbed. to the shop looks like a trucker coming here well you guys got to get the hopper bottom trailers unloaded Danny has already got the dryer started because there was one load in the wet bin from a few days ago when I unloaded the small truck anyway Got to get this uncovered and I'll have to get that auger set up once I get the hopper bottom truck down here. That might take a little time. All right, you guys. So I got to get pulled around the bin. I think what's going to take the longest, like I said earlier, is getting aligned with the auger. Oh, I need to move my wood too. My wood that I was using with the other truck. All right. Now, might be a lot of head turning, so I might let you guys check back in when I get straightened out. <laughs> Let's see. I always do the, the last or the back hopper first. I need to get an idea of what things are gonna look like. Uh. Oh no, you know what it is? I gotta do the front hopper first because you can't swing this around. Yeah, the wheels are being away. Okay, now it's coming back to me. Let's see what this look like. Uh, I need to back up some more probably. I can go ahead and leave it under there and then I know I need to get over too. Oh yeah. Okay you guys so I need to get closer. It comes out right there. Uh, let's see. Um, that's a little closer. Y'all remember Danny had lines painted last year. He already had it set up. <laughs> and he's the truck driver, so he's more accustomed to it. Wow, I need to get over some more, man. Wow, wow, okay. Hey, I'll check back in when I finally get it set up right. All right, you guys, I'm cutting it close. It's just barely at the edge of the pit, but at the same time, I'm gonna go ahead and try it like that. I gotta get the handle to open the door down there. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the auger on.
Let's go see what it looked like. We can open it up more. Let's open it up a little more. My bad. Nineteen point seven. Let's unroll the tart. The truck was all the way full. Yeah, it's not. You only put two loads in it. Ugh. You guys I finally got it and actually the back hopper is a little further off than the front hopper was but we got it and Dan has made it with the other truck already let's climb up and see okay I'm going to get this unloaded. I'm going to give myself a break. Get a GoPro a break now. <laughs> All right, you guys. Dan is going with that truck. And I'm about to take lunch. All right, you guys. We're back from lunch. I'm putting over here and starting this truck up. So it can be airing up. Oh, it's loud over here. Y'all remember that fan I was telling you about? Ow! check back in after I get parked correctly all right it didn't take too long <laughs> you guys I'm gonna check the moisture and everything we'll watch it go down from up top
guys, that's gonna do it. Yeah, pull this on up out of the way. We'll park it right here, we'll be fine. So with Danny being MIA and the guy who's been hauling for us getting here late, I'm gonna have to grab the little truck here and at least get one load with it. Looks like a cat has been walking on the windshield there. All right, we have arrived. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna grab the bush hog over here and head to the next farm that we will be harvesting and bush hog the parking area. He only has, I don't know, he said about an acre back there and then about 16 rows over there. So he'll be done at this farm. Oh, it is raunchy at this farm, you guys. No problem for the bush hog though. clutches are working mighty fine. <laughs> In here I got that AC singing matter of fact let's turn it up some more Wow anyway got to carry the grain cart it's got some corn in it to where I was bush hogging at the little truck is full there and he didn't have anywhere else to dump that corn for now so we're gonna take it with us to that next farm yeah it looks different pulling in here now don't it <laughs> clean it on up Now for the little truck. And now he'll carry the combine. And here he is with Frank. Frank the combine. <laughs> I don't know where he's gonna park, so I'm just pulled over here in the cut. Gotta go and get the little grain truck and then I'll get it dumped and that'll be it for the day you guys oh is he gonna is he gonna try and combine us <laughs> he don't know where he want to park <laughs> he's acting like a crazy madman he don't know what he want to do you guys <laughs> <laughs> He'll make up his mind after a while. After a while, bye and bye. <laughs> All right, you guys, got to carry the truck now. All right, you guys, we have arrived. Okay. The wet bin had got empty. We gotta start the dryer back up.
you guys about to wrap the video on up we've had a successful day to god be the glory i hope that you guys have enjoyed watching on today don't forget to smash the like button for us throw a comment in the comment section let me know what's on your mind jesus christ is lord to the glory of god the father you guys stay blessed you guys keep encouraged and as always we'll see you in the next one